done. The sink, my beaker, has got a brown solution and this cannot be ignored. It has an important viva question in it. What did I have in it? I had rinsed my apparatus with water and put the water in it. Then I had rinsed my burette with KMNO4. I had added KMNO4 to it. Finally, I had rinsed the pipette with more salt and added it. Which means this solution contains water, KMNO4 and more salt. No acid. KMNO4 and more salt are reacting to form something brown. Which means, in case you forget to add one test tube full of dilute sulfuric acid during your titration, the pink color would not be formed. Vanishing pink color will never happen and it would start turning to brown. Which is an indication that KMNO4 does react with more salt even in non-acidic medium or a neutral medium. But your end point will never be achieved because you cannot see in a brown color the lightest possible pink of the KMNO4 cannot be visualized. So, during titrations, one test tube full of dilute sulfuric acid is essential. The sulfuric acid provided to you should be of a strength that it can sustain acidity over a period of titration. At times it happens that despite using one test tube full of dilute sulfuric acid, it's still turning brown. There could be two reasons. One, the strength of the sulfuric acid form is not up to the required level or else. You did not wash your conical flask, which was used by class 11th student who was doing the titration of NaOH versus HCl. Got a pink color of excess NaOH. Right? So your container had NaOH in it. So your titration in that case is working perhaps in a basic or a neutral medium. Under those circumstances, instead of turning to colorless, Mn2 plus during the titration, it turns to something brown, which is MnO2. Right? So the purpose of KMnO4 is to maintain, sorry, the purpose of sulfuric acid is to maintain an acidic medium throughout. So you require one full test tube. In case you forget or the amount is less, it will turn to a brown colored MnO2. Thank you.